Hey guys, hope everybody had a great Thursday. A little bit of volatility showing up here in the markets. Things were pretty well and have reversed pretty hard, actually, for Casper. Welcome to the channel, guys. If you are not yet subscribed, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Join us here on the Micro Futures Trader channel. Let's take a look here. Let's dive into the Casper daily chart. It is still the 2nd of March, although it is quarter after nine in the evening. Our last video came out sometime early this morning, probably between five and six, I believe it was. Let's take a dive in here and see what the day unfolded for Casper. So we were pumping very, very nice and hit some pretty solid resist resistance and have backed off aggressively. So we have broken above our 435 level, which is overhead resistance. You can see we candle wicked through that. We are back below that. That is resistance. Also, guys, we are below 415. This morning, I believe, if I remember correctly, we were trying to break out above 415. That took place today. They crushed the markets and we have reversed. So that is also resistance. So there's two negatives. Let's get into a positive. A positive is we traded below our 45 degree support line, a little bit more aggressive than 45 degrees. But the point is, it's a support line. You can see we traded below it and we are back above it. So that is a good sign. We'll have to see what takes place here moving forward. Bitcoin is doing something that I talked about probably this morning and definitely in the past couple videos, guys. And my concern was that this wedge higher, I actually did talk about it this morning and I believe it was in the Casper um, video. This wedge that we were seeing here, my fear was that it breaks to the downside. What took place? It's breaking to the downside. There's potential that it could find support at 22,500, but there's no guarantees. Like I said, my next level below the market is 21,694.48. And then below that, guys, is 20,678.89. We also spoke about this morning that. If Bitcoin dumps like it has so far, there's a good chance that Casper will not be able to buck that trend and hold strong to the upside. And we're seeing that. Let's head back to the Casper chart. Thanks, guys, for subscribing. I appreciate all of the subscribers very much. Thanks for the comments. Thanks, guys. If it wasn't for you guys, this channel would not be what it is and what it is becoming. You can see that we are reversing hard. Casper cannot hold the these higher prices as Bitcoin, as the pressure from Bitcoin is to the downside and unfolding. So like I said, we'll have to see how this plays out. I still have a fear that if the Bitcoin sell-off doesn't find support, that we will break below our white support line. And I'm... I spoke about it in this morning's video. I am going to keep this arrow with the circle here, indicating that we could still see a break to the downside, guys. And from this point in time, from this date, which was the 26th of February, my downside target was just below 284 for Casper. As the price grinds higher, that price will gradually not be as low, but it's still down in and around 284. So let's say if the price ended up down there in a day, which I don't think it will, that's a 30% move to the downside. Might not play out, but I'm leaving that there for now. And if, like I said, if the pressure from Bitcoin gets heavier and heavier, there's a good chance Casper will not be able to hold these higher prices. So not to be too negative guys, but just playing out a couple of the different scenarios here. I was very impressed with the move to the upside. There's a lot of strength in here, but there's a big elephant in the room and it's Bitcoin and it 
ways on all of these projects. So on the positive side, we did give a very, very nice test up here. We were heading up to these highs here, which was the 8th and 7th of February. I have them circled. They are a very important area for price to break above, and they could do so in a very strong fashion when the time comes. Thought it was going to be today. So far, it hasn't. Things could still change, but I don't think that will take place. This is the third, actually, of March's candle. So it could. I mean, it's a long day. We'll see what happens. But important area. Keep it in mind. And also, right above that is the 466. So also another area of potential resistance. So giving it some credit, there was some solid strength that came in and we are so far reversing. We'll see how this candle closes for Friday, which will be the 3rd of March. Real quick, back to Bitcoin. Bitcoin daily chart. So there's a chance Bitcoin could find support, crawl back up above 22.5, find support, and then maybe the price will rally from there. But I don't know if that is going to be the case. RSI is trending lower. It potentially has much further to go before that bottoms out. So that would tell us that the price does also have further to go. Keep in mind, the price of Bitcoin did find support once already at our 21.694.48 level. We didn't quite hit it on today's candle, the th or tomorrow's candle, excuse me, the 3rd of March, but got close. We could find support at 22.5. There's also a potential, guys, that this is a higher low. So we'll have to see. So far, we have a lower high for Bitcoin. And let me draw this on the chart real quick for you. So we have this higher high, higher low, lower high, lower low. So, but in the bigger pattern, this actually is still a higher low, higher than this low. So basically what we can see next is, let's say Bitcoin finds support at 22.5. We could do one of two things. We could rally out of here, creating a higher high. Or we could rally out of here, creating a lower high, pull back, create a higher low, and then we get the higher high. Two different scenarios that play out. The point being that if Bitcoin doesn't find support and continues to head lower, Casper, unfortunately, at least in my opinion, I do not think it's going to be able to continue to rise here. And we actually might see this rough head and shoulders pattern here play out and break to the downside. It's not what I want to see, but I see it on the chart and I just want to mention it that it's possible to happen. Also, we could break down out of this and not do a 30% drop to the downside. We could find support anywhere in here. We have all these levels on the chart for a reason because as the price approaches it, we look for a reaction at those levels. Below the market support, above the market resistance, just like came in today, resistance. So 366, 363 is an area, 334, 313, 310, and then down here at the 284 level. Those are all areas of potential support where the price could stop. But this is that rough head and shoulders pattern. It's not perfect. Obviously, it's, you know, it's getting a little funky, but still there is proven support at this white line, call it a neckline, if you will, and um, could see a nasty break to the down, nasty move to the downside if the price breaks it. And guys, also, we've seen crazy volatility when this level gets broken. Check out this candle wick right here on the 26th of January. Guys, check out this candle wick right here on the 15th of February. When the price gets below that, we see some crazy volatility, and then it goes back up into support. And once again, right here on the 15th of February, price dropped below very aggressively and then closed back above. So that's what I'm saying is if we break below this level, there's a possibility that it could be a very nasty, nasty, sharp move to the downside. 
And it doesn't mean it's going to close down there, but we could see the price move down there. So that's my thought this evening on Casper. Do I want the price to go down drastically? Not necessarily. If you're looking to accumulate more, well, then that would benefit you. I would prefer the price to move higher, but it doesn't look very good for at least Friday. So far, the start to the Friday 3rd of March candle. If for some odd reason the price does break out overnight, a break above these highs here, the 7th and 8th of February, and also a break above the 466 level could take us straight up to 509, 522, or even 524, which on a percentage basis from where we're currently trading is roughly, let's see, 24 to 28 percent to the upside so thanks for watching guys hopefully you had a great thursday and let's see if friday off to a rough start although let's see if we can end on a good good note here also keep on your radar the twenty-five thousand five hundred level for bitcoin to find support if that doesn't work 21,694. If that doesn't work, 20,678. Guys, I appreciate all of my subscribers. Thank you guys for taking time out of your day to watch these videos. Interact in the comments. Hit that thumbs up. And if you are not yet subscribed, go ahead and join us here. Appreciate it. Careful out there. Not financial advice. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good night.